to be our strong master Lee. And Lulu. All right, y'all. We got some more righteous brothers for you. These bros, man, generations of awesome hits. You know, they've been a Vegas favorite for a number of years. And in fact, I even see them like on a sign when I drive by. I'm like, oh, I guess they're still together and they're still performing. Up until now? How come I didn't see that? You saw it. But the thing is that it's not the original righteous brothers like over the years different members have come in to replace the other one when the other one wanted to go solo but the one dude who actually sang unchained melody bobby hatfield has passed away for a, a number of years now and well you know bill medley still likes to perform so you know he found another partner so that's still the righteous brothers but yeah bobby has unfortunately gone to heaven. However, you know, this wasn't the first time, like a number of years ago, when they went their own separate ways. Yeah. Bobby wanted to still perform in Vegas and he found another partner. But I get a feeling nothing compares to that original sound that they got going that on. Melody. That melody. And that's what they've become so known for. So it was a little bit of my surprise when this song that we all know, Unchained Melody, right? It's mm -hmm. a Righteous Brother song. Well, only Bobby sang in this. They didn't do do in this. You ever noticed that? Huh. I was like blown. I'm like, no, nah, of course they did. Like they're the brothers. Why would he not have at least a backup track? No, nah, this was a solo act. And it was a huge hit back then. It was a huge hit again many decades later because the movie Ghosts, right? Mm -hmm. Remember when the dead people were like, they'll sing the song and make the love kind of thing. Uh, I know it sounds creepy, but it was actually a cool scene. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, let's check this out. By the way, if you want to hear some wicked wild stories, you got to check out my channel. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. I love how they colorize this old school footage. Oh, my love. Maybe he's really big. A long, lonely time. And time goes by so slowly. And time can do so much. amazing about when he sings this it, you really can admire the control he has mm -hmm. for his voice but when he adds those flourishes it's like whoa right you, you, you don't expect it because it's such a it's such a simple song and the beautiful melody but then he goes mm -hmm. oh <laughs> i would i would if i would girl yeah. i'd be swooned yeah, especially if you're a singer and you know exactly how his voice, that long run without any air, that's really He's got difficult. some healthy lungs. He no could have been a scuba diver. Between, damn. And by the way, I'm blown away by this footage. Like they colorized it, which it's a little too much. It looks a little waxy. But this footage is from 1965. I mean, like, Whoa. it was not originally colored. It was resed up. You could just see how absolutely handsome he is, like technology for you lonely time 
Effortless for him. Yes. I mean, we always knew he had that higher register, right? I mean, it was the always the other righteous brother that did that baritone and a deep voice. But I but, love this live rendition. But it's I never, really unbelievable. I, know, I don't remember it being so difficult with a lot of a lot of um, runs. I think he did it because he's performing. Is it live? live. Yeah. Oh, this is live. okay. He's basically pulling all the tricks out for this live performance here. Which is... It works. <laughs> Amazing, Amazing. Wow. So, uh, yeah, I guess Bill was never was actually it? in the song. Are you sure there, Bill wasn't? Uh, you know, and now I got to go back and listen to that original version. That's what I'm reading online. But, hey, I'm also doing it via chat GPT. And AI can make shit up, too, you know. <laughs> 